think she took too too much off the bottom. Really? Yeah. So you know what I took a little too much off of? What? The tip. Whoa! You tipped the girl. The camera's on. I didn't mean to say something so rude. Oh, whoa. Oh, we're on. Ruko. Forget that happened! Hello! Hello! Welcome to this video. It's us. That's a new catchphrase. You guys know us, of course. Um, but how can they forget us? But if you don't remember us, because you're an idiot. We are Grace and Mamrie Hot Ants. My name is Cladoris Tremble. It's a family name. And I am Mamrie's aunt, and she, I tell you what, light of my life, pain of my ass. I haven't heard that one. I just made it up. I've been working on new quotes to get embroidered into pillows. Oh, my name is Margaret Cho. No relation. No relation. I didn't even know there was a possible relation. Didn't even know there was a possible relation with Margaret Cho when she was Margaret Cho until the two of us, we went to Boca Raton for some vacation. Yep. And you know, we, we have a condo there. We split it. It's timeshare. We split it with five other families. Yep. We went out to dinner and we went to the Hard Rock Cafe mm -hmm. and we get there and they're like, we're like Margaret Cho and they're like, oh, right this way. Yeah. And they sit us in the night, the nicest booth. Nice. It was right underneath um, a, a bass guitar from Incubus. Yeah. I think it was. Incubus. From Incubus. And then they said, when is Miss Cho going to be? here and we were like she's right here yeah i'm right here yeah like i like some shrimp cocktail please clean your glasses yeah and then we realized there's a famous one there's a famous one we work in a library we work in a library it is a fancy affair um, and speaking of fancy affair normally we come on here and we we love to complain i tell you what there's nothing plain about complaining whoa i'm telling you i've worked out so many phrases i'm my house is just gonna be a pile of pillows your, your hands are gonna be just so tired by the end of the summer i got a couple girls who are gonna do it for me what you're outsourcing. I'm outsourcing. Whoa, you're out. Sourcing. Sourcing. Normally we do something that you guys all know and love. Two, three. three. Ants Rants! <laughs> wow, wow. We know harmonies more than the, the Braxton. They got, they got fifth harmonies. We got, we got se seventh harmonies. Seventh harmonies. We're taking Ants Rants up a notch. We are going to be reviewing Summer! Summer. Blockbusters. Oh, we look great in here. We look fantastic. Oh, I look like Gene Wilder. Let's start talking about some of the biggest summer blockbusters that we want to talk about. Because you know that in the summer is when they pump out all those big, big yep. budge action films. Yep. Every other thing has the rock in it. Yep. Every other thing has the rock in it except for us. Oh, 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 oh. But I do have some gallstones. So technically, you know, there are microscopic rocks mm -hmm. in my in my body. Yep. Okay. It hurts like hell. Okay. Captain America: Civil War. I would like to know. Mm -hmm. Is this about the actual Civil War? I don't think that they should start teaching children that superheroes were in the war when the only superheroes that were in the war were nurses. Nurses. Real Civil War had nurses. Yes. This movie has narcissists. <gasps> Two, it has all the um the other Avengers. The only Avengers I know about are Revenge. Well, revenge. that's you because you never, ever, ever let go of a grudge. No, no, I got a good grip. The grudge, now that was a movie. Whoa, couldn't finish it. Oh, I yeah. want to see Captain America take on the creepy long-haired girl from the grudge. Oh. I'd only pay matinee price, but I'd pay. Yeah. Next movie, Independence Day Resurgence. Now, this movie came out like, what, 10 years ago? No. They're doing a sequel 15 years later? And you know what? What? Will Smith has an aged a day. He's in it. It's about aliens. Aliens. That come down to Earth. Okay. On Independence Day. Do you not think it's a little convenient? Is Jeff Goldblum in this one? Yes, he is. Big time. Oh, I know. That's your sweet spot. That's your sweet spot. Oh, wow. I would eat a blooming onion. You know what I mean? Oh, he's very sexy. Uh, I'd let him, I meant, to, ah, I meant to say I'd let him eat my blooming onion. I hope nothing on him resembles an onion. <laughs> Finding Dory. Ah, oh, I enjoyed Finding Nemo. Mm hmm I would like to know why these fish get lost so much. So much. Do they not have GPS? Seriously. What's going they on? They travel in school. Like, and how, how hard is it to not be able to keep up with 900 other things that look exactly like you? And now they make phones so that you can drop them in water and they're fine. Yeah. So they must all have phones because Lord knows we've dropped some. The last time we went snorkeling. Yep. Do you remember what happened? Vaguely. I blacked out. I dropped my pager. Oh, that was such a bummer. I went down, I saw a sunfish, and I went to reach, and then my pager went down. <gasps> and I couldn't hold my breath long enough 
to go down and get it. It was a tragedy. It was a tragedy. She was out there for 72 hours before we found her. I did lose weight though. Central Intelligence. The Rock and Kevin Hart. We made it three whole movies before The Rock turned up. And before the people that they compare us to the most turned up. If we if need to hear one more time that you and I oh. are The Rock and Kevin Hart this of generation, The Rock and Kevin Hart, I'm gonna lose my mind. We almost named Mamry Kevin. Almost she named her like, Kevin. She, she looks, looks like, like a Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. I know, we saw it in the sonogram. She was in the sonogram. And she was doing oh, this. So she was doing this? Oh, is that? Oh, you remind us of the little kid from Home Alone. We'll name you Kevin. And good. then her name would have been Kevin Hart. Could you imagine how hard it would be working in Hollywood with the name Kevin Hart if you're not the Kevin Hart? Wow, you saved her. So Central Intelligence, what's this about? I bet there's some hijinks. I bet The Rock picks up Kevin Hart oh, like he's like an adult baby. I bet at one point they're like, we need to get in. We need to get in there. Like, yeah. You can't dress up like a kid. Pretend you're a kid. Oh, I bet they switch clothes at some point. Kevin Hart looks like, you know, the kid at the end of Big when he goes yep. back to being a kid. <laughs> Ghostbusters. I ain't afraid of no female Ghostbusters. Whoa. There's so much controversy going around and Why? I'm like, because people are upset that it's ladies as the Ghostbusters. It's little boys going, oh, don't mess with my toys. They're upset that ladies are wearing vacuums on their back cleaning things up. Oh, I'm sorry. Holy oh, you smoke! Whoa. You're gonna have to bust those ghosts because you just killed all the haters. Oh, like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> when you go to the movies, what do you get at the concession stand? What side, you know, like a mortgage because it's so expensive? Oh, I don't order. What are you talking about? Oh, you sneak in food? I bring it in in my bag. What do you bring in? I bring, um, well, I have like a little microwave of a meal that's with me. That's <laughs> yeah. Alfredo's really good. Oh, um, yeah, the cheddar. Uh, Broccoli, potatoes. You know what? Everyone's jealous of you and when you're sitting in the movies yep. and everyone's eating their $80 popcorn yep. and they look at you and you're eating a potato and broccoli. Who is this royalty? Right? I'm Mrs. Regal Cinemas? Yep. You and know? then they get really upset because I'm usually wearing my top hat and they're like, that's so, that's in my face. <laughs> when I go to the movies, I like to eat Mexican food. So what I do is I put a bunch of, like a whole entire Mexican buffet <gasps> in my purse. I have a big purse. But then what I do is I borrow Mamrie's dog <gasps> and I put the dog on top. So when they say, hey, it smells like you got, are you sneaking in? Are you sneaking in enchiladas? I'll go, no, it's this dog. Smell her. <gasps> she oh, look, is very offended. Look, she's doing, she's doing an impression of someone watching Finding Dory. You can stick Kevin Hart in there. Oh. Sneak him into the movies. Thank you guys for listening. Let us know what you think of the movies or don't let us know because, you know, we, we haven't figured out how to read the we, comments. No, and we have a big summer reading list to get to anyway. Yeah, read. I know movies are great, but like, read, read a, a book. book. You know how I think we could get kids to read? What? If we designed uh -huh. book covers, like let's say you have like Gone with the Wind, and right. it's like Scarlett O'Hara yeah, and yeah. the other guy. What if we replace them with The Rock and Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart on all of them. All the classics. Romeo and Juliet, The Rock, Rock and Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Oh my god. Of Mice and Men. Well, clearly you know which one's which on that one. Yeah. Yikes, not a good ending. Now make sure that you go check out Mamrie's channel because oh, yeah. we, what did we talk about over there? Oh, we talked about summer barbecues. Summer barbecues. Um, so we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Goodbye. I think we're off. Off. Hot! <laughs> off! It's off. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, yeah, so good. Done. So good. Ha ha! Whoa! I can't believe those idiot children didn't watch this shit. <laughs> what was that? Was that the Virgin Islands? Or was that Cozumel? I want to say Virgin Islands. Oh, how did they let you in? You did that the entire time we were there. Look, I prefer pages. Right. You know, and so it's, whenever Margaret and I wanted to hang out, uh, she knows I'm not going to answer my phone. No. I want her to page me. We had a code. It was 80085. Boobs. Boobs. It looks like boobs. I was like, I'm going to go out on my own. I'm going to find some really nice coral reefs. Yep. When the boat is getting ready to leave again, just page me. Yep. Just page me to let me know. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest story ever.